Hello, I'm Lewis, and welcome to Electromaker, where on today's project, we'll be building this, a Arduino-powered coin sorting and counting device. It's a great project for beginners, requires some very simple soldering and some 3D printed components. Let's run you through what you'll need to build your own one. First off, you'll need some plastic. I've used PLA plastic for my printed components. Eight infrared photoelectric sensors. I used a TCRT 5000. It's basically an infrared LED on one side and an infrared sensor on the other. When an object is in front of it, it can detect the reflected infrared light. If you'd like to learn some more about this component, you can click the link up here or in the description to go to a video which tells you all about it. You'll also need an Arduino Nano, some wire. If you have five colors, that would be useful. We'll need five individual wires to connect our display. But if you only have one or two colors, that's fine. You'll just need to be careful with your labeling. A mini breadboard, an eight digit seven segment display powered by a Max 7219 display driver. You'll need to start by printing the first piece. This is the main body. Uh, it will take some time to print. And again, if you're patient, a decent layer height, I printed mine in 0.15 millimeters, will leave you with quite a good quality print. Once it's done, we'll have to begin by adding in seven of our photosensitive sensors into these slots. So to fix this, you just need to put a dab of glue just here and insert one of the sensors. The sensor in with those lights there pointing downwards. You'll notice that the TCRT 5000 has four pins here. VCC will be connecting to the 3 volts on the Arduino. Ground, well, of course, that will be connected to ground. And then we're going to connect a wire to the digital pin. So to achieve this, just using the few pins we have on our Arduino Nano. We're going to wire up the VCC connection and the ground connection on these chips in parallel. So to do that, we're going to solder wires going from VCC to VCC to VCC all the way along. And then we're going to do the same with all the ground wires, soldering these together. And then we'll connect just the VCC and ground on this one here, the first one, to the pins on our Arduino's breadboard. That way we can power this first seven here using just two pins on our Arduino. To join all these connections together in parallel, we'll need seven pairs of roughly four centimeter wires stripped either end. I've prepared six in red and six in black and stripped off either ends. I'm going to use the red wires to connect the VCC connections together. Now you just need to repeat the same on every pin going along here so you get to the end. Now that we've finished soldering the first seven infrared sensors to the underside of our coin counter, we can work on this one here, which will be counting our two pound coins at the end. To do this, you'll need to take your 3D printed component, and you'll find the file linked, it's called the two pound part, and to it, we will be attaching a, another infrared sensor. So this one fits slightly different. This is how we'll attach the two pound segment once we've fitted the sensor inside. To do this, we need to turn this upside down and we will be gluing our sensor in this way up so that the sensor will fit in this recess. We'll need to bend these pins carefully back over on themselves. Now to do that, I'm gonna glue this into place first with some hot melt glue, and then I'm gonna use some pliers and bend them back. Now very carefully, grab hold of all four pins and bend them back over. That's about as far as they need to go. Now we will solder three wires to this sensor. We'll put all three on now as it's gonna be hard to get to later. Now each wire wants to be about 20 centimeters long as this is gonna be at the far end of the coin sorter to where our Arduino Nano is gonna be positioned. 
and again we need to solder a wire to VCC, ground and digital out. Now that we soldered our three wires onto this last sensor, we can glue this into position onto the main body. When I printed my main body, this end of it lifted up off the print bed slightly because it's warped. It's very subtle, but if yours has done the same, what's more important when you glue this into place is that this step here that the two pound coin slides over meets up as best as possible. So we'll add some glue. There we go. And then on the underside, you'll see we have a channel here where we can route our wires. Now that we've attached all of the sensors to the main body of our coin sorter, we're going to go back to the first seven and attach a wire to the digital out pin. This is where we'll collect our reading from the sensor. We've already done it to this one for the two pound coin here, so we just need to repeat the same along here. When cutting the wire for this one, you want to make sure it can reach from the sensor down to this end. This is because our Arduino will be positioned down this end. That's all of our wires soldered together now. What I'm going to do now is push them back through these holes like this and then run them through these same channels to keep everything nice and tidy. This is roughly how the cables will be managed once we finish the remaining components. So next thing up is we are going to solder on five wires to the five pins on our display module. This display module will be sitting in the top of our piece like this. So we will be soldering onto these left hand side row pins which will then have their cables threaded through a little hole in here. So our display module here has five pins. Now we need to solder a wire to each of these five connections. If you have five different colors, I recommend using a different color for each pin as it will make it a lot easier to follow through later when we connect it to our Arduino. When working out how long to prepare your wires, I'd recommend making them the same length of your printed enclosure. So here are my five wires and they need to be soldered to the pins on the left hand side of your display. Now we have all five wires soldered to our display module. Now all we need to do is place the module here into our main body and feed the wires through the hole here on the side. So here are our five wires coming out through the bottom. There's our display module. Now we've got our display in place, we need to tidy up the area to make it look a little bit smarter. So if you print out this piece, the display frame, then we will apply some hot melt glue just to the edge of either side and then we'll position this in place. Before we fit it in place though, I'd recommend peeling off these display protective sheets. So we've almost finished all our soldering. We've just got two more wires left to attach. They'll need to go to this sensor to the VCC and ground connections so that we can then connect them to our Arduino Nano. Each one of these cables wants to be about 10 centimeters in length. So that's our last two wires that need soldering added now. So we just need to fold them back inside the housing. Okay, so let's put our Arduino Nano onto its breadboard and we'll start connecting these wires to our circuits. Here's our breadboard and here's our Nano. So when you position this onto your breadboard, put it as far over to this side as possible so that we have plenty of available pins here to connect to the various power supplies and ground connections that are on this side of our Arduino Nano. 
There we go. I've also mounted mine with this USB socket close to the front edge as we'll need to plug into this to program our coin counter and to power it when we want to use it later. So let's start connecting this collection of wires to our Arduino. We'll start with the wires coming from our display module. So the first wire I'll connect is from the CLK or clock and that one's go to pin digital number 13. Then the wire from the CS wants to go to digital pin number 10. The wire from DIN wants to go to digital number 11. The ground wire wants to go to ground. And then the wire from VCC wants to go to the 5 volt connection. Next up, we'll connect the power and ground leads from our coin sensors. So in this case, the cable from VCC, my black one, is going to go to ground. And my cable from VCC will be going to 3 volts, which is down the other side of the board here. And we also have the power from our 2 pound sensor over here that needs connecting might be a bit of a stretch for me. Let's see how this goes. So there's my ground wire. Now, um, I made a bit of a mistake. My power wire isn't long enough to reach the 3 volt connection at the other end of the breadboard. So what I'm going to do is to make a short cable which can go from the 3 volts over to this row here at the end of the breadboard which aren't in use and then I can connect the 3 volt supply in there. So. so, if I put this one in here. There we go. It's not ideal, but it's not a problem. So all that's left to do now, wiring wise, is to connect the wires that come from the digital outputs of our coin sensors to their respective pins on our Arduino Nano. I'm going to start from this end, which is the five piece slot, and work my way all the way up here to the two pound coin slot. So this first wire here from the five P sensor wants to go to pin number eight. Then our next one is the one P slot, and the wire from this one, which is there, wants to go to pin number six. Our wire from the 20 P slot here, the third one along, wants to go to pin number five. The wire from our one pound slot, which is the fourth one along, wants to go to pin number four. The wire from our 10p slot wants to go to digital pin number two. The wire from our two piece sensor, which is the third from last, wants to go to pin number seven. The wire from the 50p sensor wants to go to pin number nine. And finally, the wire from our £2 coin sensor wants to go to pin number two. So that's everything wired together. What we'll do now is we're going to plug it into the computer, upload our code, and check that everything's working as we intended. If it is, we'll finish the assembly by gluing together the slots that will house the coins that come out through the sensor as they're counted. To do this, we'll plug one end of our USB cable into our Arduino Nano, and then the other end into our PC. Now open the Arduino IDE and open the code to which you'll find a link in the description for. Upload this to your Arduino and then open the serial monitor. And what you should find as you pop your fingers into each of these sensor holes that the serial monitor will print the same as the denomination here. You'll also notice that the counter on the top here is incrementing as well. As long as that works as expected, we can move on to assembling the last piece of this machine. Now that we know that the electronics is working as expected, we need to print the remaining two pieces. This is the two base pieces which will hold our coins when they are sorted. These two pieces will need to be joined together down the middle with some hot mount glue first. Just push the two together and for the next step, we'll be attaching our main body with the electronic assembly in position about here. 
To do this again, we'll apply some hot mount glue around these edges. Now it's useful at this stage if you plug in your USB cable so that we can route it through this channel here. I hope that you've enjoyed building your own coin sorting and counting machine. If you have, don't forget to check out these other projects here that we have available and subscribe to be notified when we release our next project. Otherwise, until next time, ciao for now.